Hi, this is Marty. Welcome back for another video. Okay. Uh, all right. Artificial intelligence, AI. It's a hot topic. Been so for a long time. The question is, is artificial intelligence, is it real or a magic show? Now, you may not understand what I mean by magic show, so let me explain. All right. I'll draw a picture for you. All right. The magic show equals confused. How do you do it? What the fuck's going on? Where'd it go? <laughs> That's what it is. Misdirection. They say, well, what could artificial intelligence ha possibly have to do with a magic show? Confused. Well, what if artificial intelligence is the object that you're looking at while something else is going on. Now the dots are connected. All right. I've been asking myself a long time, why the fuck would I fool with artificial intelligence when I can just fucking reprogram you? I've done video, I've done a video on it. I mean, yeah, why would I fuck around with a computer? Nothing can compete with the human mind. I'd rather just reprogram. I would just rather reprogram you. You're easier. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? Don't believe me? Would you like me to show you the foundation for mind control and how easy it is? <laughs> I would. Thought you'd never ask. I have to erase this. So, first step. Mind control. First step. You have to understand. First step. Understand mental health. I.E. gaslighting. Example of gaslighting. Um, I, wa I walk across the street and pick up an apple. Okay? You watch me walk across the street and pick up an apple. When I walk back across, I mean, you watched it. When I walk back across the street, okay, I put the apple in my pocket. And I walk up and you say, where's the apple? I said, what apple? Marty, I just saw you fucking go get an apple. No, I didn't. You, I just fucking watched you go get the fucking apple. What apple? You fucking the apple in your, it's, it's on you, get the fuck, it's in your pocket. The fuck it is? What apple? And, and, you, and you lunge for me to go in my pockets. By now, you're like off your fucking ass. And I say, I move your hands away. I say, why are you attacking me? Get off of me. You don't trust me? And you're like, oh my, oh my God, I'm a fucking... And it goes on and on. Your reality of me picking up the apple is the truth. But so, so many of you have been in these relationships where you've experienced gaslighting. That is the first step toward mind control. Would you like to know the... Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll go on. Just a side note. <laughs> I've said this to people and they just look at me like I'm fucking... Okay. If you've been following me for a, a, a bit, 
I don't know what to tell you, but I'm just going to like, if this is your first video of watching me, this is not going to go over well. And you're probably never going to watch me again. And it's your loss. Trust me, not mine. But I, I understand why you would make that decision about what I'm about to say. So please watch other videos. I'll read comments. Okay. All right. <laughs> would you like to know how dangerous I am? I mean, fucking off the fucking charts dangerous. When you experience an individual with borderline or bipolar, right? Those individuals are out of control. When they are in addition wrapped with a malignant narcissistic personality traits, okay? Those individuals are not in control. They are not cognitively understanding. No, they're just reacting and or acting apart. So the first step in mind control, mind control is understanding mental health. And why would you want to understand that? Because what you are understanding is what the mind is doing in a natural environment. Unless you have other motives, right? Therefore, you're learning what goes on in a natural environment, and then you are applying the same learned natural techniques in a controlled environment. And you better bring you you had better bring your A game if you're gonna enter this game. That's all I'm gonna say. You better bring your fucking best. Otherwise, you're no match. You're fucked. There's no competing. And if you've experienced gaslighting or a borderline individual or a bipolar individual or a malignant narcissist that is employing gaslighting and the and, and the mental health disorders, not disorders, but the mental health conditions that are a part of the borderline. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You, you, you woke up one day and said, I can't imagine. Now you kind of get the idea. Just say. So, second step. Confuse. Once you start challenging someone's reality, you then confuse them. How do you do that? You whipsaw them. You've already challenged their reality. Now you confuse them. You give information here, 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 here. And all of these represent decisions that the person has to make. But because they're because you are already confused, because you are already challenging your own reality, you have broken down the barriers of your mind to accept confusion and different options. Okay? You don't know what to pick. What, what the fuck? What, what do I worry? But the key is, is it's a funnel toward the goal of what I want. And you employ challenging the reality as you confuse, okay? The third step. The third step is very interesting, okay? Very interesting. You must then, is it separ or separ? I don't know. Honestly, I, just, I have a spelling problem. You separate. Divide. The 
socially. Well, better said, I should have just wrote this. Isolate. Isolate. Is that how you spell isolate? I isolate? Oh, God. I, I, isolate? I, so, I don't fucking know. Seriously, I wish I did. I can't spell. You isolate. So while you are using this to confuse, right? <laughs> If, 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 you're, if you're doing this one-on-one, -on -one, it's in a controlled environment. It's why the malignant narcissist isolates you from uh, your family and friends to get you one-on-one, -on -one, right? Okay. In, in, in other dynamics, um, it has to be done a, a differently, all right? And I'm not kidding. I'll get into it later, but it has to be done differently when it's on a larger scale, all right? But it's absolutely doable. Okay. Fourth, and basically final, and there's 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 things that go in between, but I'm just giving you the nuts and bolts of it, okay? And then I'll come back to the magic show. All right. Fourth and final is you 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 start to <laughs> questions. Ask questions. Pausing. Okay, all right, so what this looks like, you challenge someone's reality, confuse them, then give them options and or data that gives too many choices between the reality that they have and the reality that they are, that they are being challenged on. Does that make sense? Okay. And then, as you're doing that, you're isolating and dividing that individual from others that can substantiate, well, your goal is to go up. And you, these individuals will help that person go down. You need to isolate them from them, right? Okay, if you, if, if, if you, if you don't have the opportunity to do the same to that individual, and funnel them, right? Okay. So with the last, ask questions. As you ask questions of that individual, you say things like, like this. Um, let me think for a second really quick. Uh, it was a very bad thing when that individual ran across the street and didn't say hi to that person that walked by them, don't you think? As you give them stimulus of someone walking by and saying hello, as you give stimulus over here that we should all be more friendly and say hi to our neighbors. When you see all of that stimulus and data coming at you, right? As the mental health <laughs> confused reality through the question and the data coming at you, you answer in your head. Yes. Should have said hi. That fucking asshole. Should have said hi. And the next thing you know, you're walking across the street and you see someone right there with someone walking up and you wave hi and that person doesn't. And you look at him and you go, why the fuck didn't you wave hi? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you such an asshole? Be more friendly. And that person is looking at you like, what? What the fuck is going on here? Once you answer that question in your head, And this cycle, well, yeah, like this, watch. Just repeats. <laughs> I love it. I love it. F 
fucked. Put a fork in it. You're done. You are done. <laughs> it is fucking awesome. When I see this going on, it, it I, I am smiling from ear to ear. Because it, 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 you're your own person. And if you let this happen to you, I'm applauding those who are doing it to you. I'm not fucking kidding. Men and women are not created equal. And if someone has an agenda, if someone wants something done, and they want it done more than you, get the fuck out of their way, lay down for them, or be prepared. Stand your ground. But bring your best. Because your best may not be good enough. This, this bullshit doesn't work on me. You think this bullshit work on me? Fucking come and get me. Put me in the chair. Fucking come and get me. Fuck that. Does it work on you? Just ask him. There are steps in between all of these. And when it is orchestrated, it's flawless. Fucking beautiful. So the question becomes, why would I fuck around with AI when I can do this to you? Seriously. You saw my video on Viagra. Why? Why? Because that's the shiny object that they want, that they, who, what, when, where. It's a shiny object. It's a distraction. I let it play out. Yeah, robots and artificial intelligence and all that. Yeah, yeah, let it play out. <laughs> Where's the real game at? The real game? <laughs> right there, boys and girls. Right there. That is fucking awesome. This is Marty. We'll see you in the next video.